Welcome to the Arbutus software tutorial series. This tutorial will discuss how to use Arbutus Analyzer's protect command to protect your intellectual property. As of version 5.6, Arbutus Analyzer has integrated the protect application that used to be a separate module as part of the application. To access the protect command, simply go to the tools menu and choose protect. A list of all the procedures or scripts that are in this project will be presented and given the opportunity to have them protected. I'll give this a name to call once it's protected. And I'll give it a protection key that must be used in order to run the script. When I click on OK, the Levenstein protected script has been added to my overview. Now I can't edit this script inside Analyzer. It's been protected. In fact, I can't even go to an external text editor like Notepad++ to edit this script. If I try to open up the script, what you'll see is just a bunch of garbled information. So this script has been protected both inside and externally as well. When I want to run this script, what I would do is I would send this information, the procedure and any of the supporting uh, format files and data files that have to go with it. I would send this to the customer or to the internal user and I would provide them with the protection key that was used when, when this script was protected. The end user will then have to go into their copy of Analyzer and go under Tools, Options, select the Command tab, and you'll notice at the very bottom here we have a protection key. So whatever protection key was used to, to protect the script is the same protection key that must be used by the end user in order to run the script. So I'm just going to put in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I'll click on OK. As you can see, when I have the proper protection key entered into my options, I can now run this script and it runs no problem. I'll click on Cancel. I'm not going to run the entire script here. Just to illustrate what would happen if somebody tried to put in a different key value. I'll just change that last digit. When you try to run this script with an incorrect protection key, you get the same message as before. This script will not run unless the protection key matches what was used by the creator of the script. Something else I would recommend for folks if you're using this either for customers that you're billing or if you're just internally keeping track of, of your protected scripts would be to use a separate application such as Excel where you could put in the company information. Uh, you could also put in the key that was used. We could put in the source script name and then the protected script name. So we'll just put in ABC Corp, the key, one, two, three, four, five, the source, uh, we could just see colon backslash scripts, and then whatever it was, dot PRO, and then whatever you called the protected script. Now, as a rule, you can choose to use a different protection key for every single script that you write. This would cause a bit of an administrative nightmare, I think, and my recommendation would be that you stick to using one key per company or just use one key generically for everybody. But regardless of whichever approach you use, it's still a good idea to use a separate application or a separate document to keep track of all of the protected scripts that you have in order to go back and review them later on. Also, the thing to note, if you have changes to be made to your scripts, as we saw, you cannot edit the protected script. You have to go back to the source, make your edits, and then re-protect the script. So it's a good idea to have both the source script and the protected script stored somewhere where you can quickly reference 
where your changes have to be made. For more information regarding the Arbutus Protect program, the Arbutus Protect command, I should say, please contact your nearest sales representative.